Hello, congregation. It is uh, Sunday, March the uh, 7th today, and I hope you are uh, enjoying our guest preacher uh, for this Sunday so that we can uh, we can set up the system to delay a, a week. Um, <clears throat> but today's congregational prayer should be up to date, uh, even though uh, we're getting ready to be delayed a week for the online services. So uh, a couple things that you need to be aware of. First of all, our offering for March the 7th is for World Renew, particularly for the Can Canada Food Grains Bank. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Canada Food Grains Bank, it is a fantastic organization working together with all kinds of charities and nonprofits and with farmers throughout Canada uh, to provide food uh, for people in nations where they are running short, where they're developing nations, where the infrastructure is not there, all that kind of stuff. So Canada Food Grains Bank and World Renew, together with farmers throughout the country, uh, help to provide uh, food for all kinds of people throughout the world. And it is a wonderful, wonderful ministry. Uh, also, uh, for congregational prayer, please very much uh, be in prayer for Wayne and Sherry. Uh, Wayne is, um, yeah, Wayne, Wayne is struggling in his health quite a bit. Uh, I know I said that last week, but just continue uh, to pray for him and for Sherry and for the rest of the family. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together for uh, congregational prayer and for this worship service. Lord, we pray that you will bless and protect uh, those who are coming together for in-person services this Sunday, uh, and also that you would uh, keep us bound together as a community, uh, regardless of whether we are able to come to in-person services or not, or whether we're more comfortable or not, or, or whatever. Uh, God, please keep us united in love and through your spirit. Father, we pray as well uh, that you will be with this entire world. Uh, it seems, uh, just listening to the news today, that uh, that some of the lead uh, doctors, uh, physicians in Ottawa are feeling like the third wave with variants are, are really starting to uh, pick up speed in the Ottawa area. And so, Lord, we pray for that. We pray also for... Uh, Sanford Fleming in Peterborough and for uh, the outbreak there among the students as, as they have like 40 students with COVID right now and 30 of them have these new variants. Lord God, we just pray for them. We pray also uh, in a continuing way for vaccine rollouts. We pray for all the people who are busy uh, trying to fight this pandemic. We pray for all of us that we may, uh, we may not experience too much COVID fatigue or loneliness. God, we long for the day when we can return uh, full, fully to uh, normal and where we can be with one another and uh, express our love through a handshake or a hug or a pat on the back or uh, whatever. God, we pray that you would guide us, um, not only with regards to COVID too, but we pray that you will be with all of our students and uh, all of our teachers and uh, all of uh, whether they're, whatever level of schooling they're doing, Lord God, we pray that you would guide them there as well. And we pray for our farmers, our police officers, our our frontline workers, the folks who are working in factories every day, everybody, oh God, who has gainful employment, as the saying is. Lord, we pray that you will guide them and strengthen them in whatever you have called them to do. Father, we pray too that you will be with the Canada Food Grains Bank and World Renew and these offerings that we bring to you. Oh God, would you receive them as a pleasing aroma to you? Father, we pray as well, uh, particularly for Wayne and Sherry. Lord, we pray for all those in our congregation and beyond who are struggling with sickness. Uh, but particularly right now, our hearts and minds are, are 
really holding them up in our prayers. So God, we pray that you will be with them. We pray also that uh, as we listen to the message that was chosen for today, that you would guide us, that we may hear your word, and that we may be encouraged and strengthened to live out your gospel message in this, your world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.